can't even begin to explain how cold it is in my house right now. <gasps> Today's tutorial is going to be kind of different. I've... Rude! Rude, rude, rude! I've never done anything like this, and some of you might think I'm like a complete psychopath, but if you guys follow me and you've been following me for a while, you know my dog's name is Zoe. She is 15 years old. She is such an old little lady, and I don't know. She's, I've been noticing that she's moving a little bit slower, like it's been sleeping a lot, and this and that, and like, I'm just really worried about her and I do travel a lot so I don't get to see her as much as I used to. She's been in my life for 15 years. I'm only 23 years old so it's crazy. She's been in my life for more than half of my life. So I am going to do a little tutorial kind of dedicated to her. I know that that might sound literally insane but if you have a dog or a pet or a cat or a fish or a ferret or something, then you know where I'm coming from. Zoe has the most beautiful golden fur, and it just so happened that I got in the mail the new Morphe Premium Shadows and Foiled Shadows, and they are golden too. So, this video is for my little doggy Zoe. I love you, girl. Love you. I ain't never gonna stop loving you, bitch. <laughs> All right, so let's go. And just like that, our brows are did. No, but seriously, I promise a brow routine is coming. It is coming, especially now that I have my zoom lens. It's coming. I'm gonna be priming again with the Makeup Forever Hydrating Primer. I really liked this yesterday. I used it for the first time, and it also has like a little scent to it. It's not too strong or anything, but it's awesome, and it almost feels like gelatinous, if that's the right word. Oh my god, with the text messages. <laughs> I'm also just going to take like a little bit like that much and kind of just cake it on my nose. Let it kind of, it's going to be there so I'm sorry it might be obnoxious to some of you guys. But my nose is so dry from being sunburned so we're going to let this be sink on in. Okay so I'm going to zoom you guys on in so we can get started with the eyeballs. I'm going to be priming with Benefit Air Patrol. We're just going to apply two to three clicks to each eye and then you can use any type of pressed powder or translucent powder just to set it from moving around. That way you can get maximum smooth ability when you're applying your eyeshadow. <laughs> For shadows, I'm going to be taking the new Morphe Single Shadows. And again, I do have a discount code with Morphe. It's N-I-C-O-L in all caps. And you can enter that at the checkout for a discount. I am taking the color Peanut. And we are going to be using that as a transition color. And I'm going in with my Morphe G24 brush. And we're just going to use this to apply up into the crease. Going in with the shade Glamorous, this is by Makeup Geek. We are going to be applying this to our entire lid, and I'm going in on my Firma 203 blush to blush brush to apply this. So now once we have that applied, I'm taking Mocha from Morphe, sorry to keep going back and forth, and I am going to be applying this to the inner corner of my eye and the outer corner of my eye. And what I'm going to do is take my Morphe M433 and kind of blend everything together a little bit better, like up into the crease and blend out this part. You can pick up some more product if you want to get up into the crease a little bit better. But ultimately, you're just going to be blending until your arm falls off, you know what I'm saying? Now I'm going to be taking the new foiled shadows from Morphe just to give you an example of the size difference. This is a regular shadow and this is the premium foiled shadows. These are only $5.99 which is amazing. So I'm going to take the color Hooked and we're going to be applying that to the center of the lid and I'm actually going to be applying this with my finger just to kind of make it pop a little bit more and so that way I have a little bit more control. 
So what I'm going to do now is we're not going to create a wing. I'm just going to take the So Fine Liner by Tarte and I'm just going to line very closely to my lash line. That way when we apply our falsies, there isn't that much of a gap or anything like that. This is just going to make it easier and more natural looking when you apply those falsies. BAM! Popped on some lashes. These are from Huda and they are called Raquel. These are my favorites. They're minks. I've been trying to get more into wearing mink lashes because I know that there are some of you that enjoy wearing minks. So I'm letting you know which ones are my faves. And I really do like these. I'm thinking I'm going to have an eyelash tutorial up by next week. So stay tuned for that. Okay, so we are all zoomed out and we are going to do the Fotch now. Today I'm going to be trying out a different color corrector. I'm using the new one from Tarte. This is part of their Rainforest of the Sea. And if you didn't know, I actually am on the Sephora website doing a demonstration on this palette. I'm so honored and so excited that I got to be a part of that. So thank you so much Tarte for thinking of me. So this palette comes with a green shade, an orange shade, a yellow shade, and then you can use these two for concealers or you can use that to contour with. And or I should say, and, or, and. <laughs> so first I'm gonna be going in with this yellow shade from the contour palette, and I'm going in on my Morphe E57 brush, and what I'm going to do is brighten up my forehead because I do have a little different skin pigmentation up there from being in Hawaii. So we're going to use the yellow to brighten that up. So what this is going to do, it's going to create a really nice even base for everything. Now I'm going to take the green and I'm going to be applying that to my nose. And I also wanted to apply it a little bit around my mouth just because like, you know, I'm a little uh, hormonal these days and sometimes you get a little breakouts when your friend comes to town, if you know what I'm saying. So we're going to use the green to get rid of any redness. And now I'm going to be taking this orange shade and we're going to be correcting dark circles. So of course I'm going to get my under eye. And I also want to get a little bit on the sides of my forehead because lately my veins have been super prominent. I don't know why. I don't know if it's stress or I don't know. I read somewhere online that when you lose weight sometimes your veins pop out. So I don't know. Maybe I lost some weight. I don't know. But we're going to cover that up. So just to blend that out, I'm going to be taking my Artiste brush and we're going to blend everything out so that it's a little bit more seamless. And yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> so today I'm going to be using the new Becca Aqua Luminous Foundation. And I did buy a foundation color that was a little bit too dark for me, but that's okay because I do have a little bit of a glow from Hawaii. I'm going in with the color beige and I am going to just dab this all over the face and then I'm going to be using the brand new Morphe Kabuki. This is the M444. I'm so excited to use this. For concealer, I'm going to be going in with Makeup Forever Concealer. This is in the color Y23 and I'm going to be applying it using my Morphe E57 brush and we're just going to highlight our face using this. Going back into the color correcting palette by Tarte, I'm going to be taking the shade number 3 right here and again using that same Morphe E57 brush, I'm just going to carve out the contour on our cheeks, our forehead, down the bridge of our nose and then I'm going to blend everything out with a damp beauty blender. Take your time with this, you want to really make sure you blend everything out really really seamlessly. To set the under eye, I'm going to be using Laura Mercier translucent powder. And instead of baking, I'm just going to like press this into the skin. I actually learned this technique from Nicole Guerrero and I'm really glad that I've been doing it this way because sometimes when you bake, I feel like when you remove it, it takes away some foundation. I don't know. I don't know. I've been having an issue with that lately. So this has been like one of my favorite eye methods. So thanks Nicole for the tip. To contour, I'm going to be taking the shade Bad Habit. This is by Makeup Geek and I really love, 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 love these shades. I think that they're so awesome for contouring and the pigment of them is incredible. I'm going in on my Morphe M177 brush and I'm also going to be using JD Wadey's Luxie brush to snatch my nose up. 
And for my cheeks, like, to bake and clean that up, I'm going to try to do something a little bit differently here. I'm taking the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder and my Morphe M459 brush. And I'm just going to bake slightly here. Like that. And then I'm going to bake there. So that it's not kind of, like, connected. I just want to see if it, like, makes a difference, you know? Because when you do bake and you kind of bring it up like I have, that's going to make your face look a little bit more round. Whereas if you're baking like this, it's going to slim out your face, which is what I want because I feel like my face is like fat and round and blah, blah, blah. So that's kind of what I want. And I bake my smile lines just because you guys know I'm super animated. And anytime you're baking or setting something with powder, you're essentially doing it so that it doesn't crease. So I'm trying to bake my lines here, my smile lines, so that I don't get creasing when I talk crazy, you know? I'm taking that mocha color that we used on the inner corners of our eye and outer corners, and I'm taking my Morphe E11 brush, and we're going to follow that same pattern, leaving a space in the center for us to fill it with gold. And then I'm taking the shade Hooked, Again, on my Morphe E11 brush, and we're going to pop that in the center to follow the, to follow the pattern that's already on our eyelids. And now I'm just popping on some of that Tardis mascara to the bottom lashes. And you don't want to do too, too much because we do have a lot going on on the lower lash line. So I'm not going too close to the actual lower lash line. I'm more or less just hitting the outsides, like the bottom outsides. For highlight, I'm going to be going in with the Tarte Twinkle Palette, and I'm going to be taking this shade right here, which is Sunlight. It's a champagne gold, and I'm going in on my Morphe M310 highlighting brush. This is the best highlighting brush I've ever used, and it picks up the product so well. And for blush, I'm going to be taking Spellbound. This is a Makeup Geek shadow, and it's a matte shadow, which I really like because the rest of our face is kind of glitzy and glimmery. And I'm going in on my Morphe E4 brush. Taking the Morphe E41, I'm just going to press down the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. And I kind of like the way that this came out because it almost slims the face a little bit more. For lips, I'm going to be mixing two. I'm going to be using Trophy Wife by Huda Beauty to outline it with lip liner. And then I'm going in with Lip Land's 50-50 liquid lipstick. And this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, I dedicated this to my little fur ball, Zoe, because she's golden and brown and I love her so much. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time.